Please help me welcome Mr. Jim Yurick. Threw some, uh, you threw some hard ones at me there. I did not expect that my son would appear. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, wow. I start by recognizing the MVP in my life who allowed us to migrate from Saginaw to Bridgeport to Chesney to Saginaw and finally to Bay City. My wife Joanne has been She has been to almost every football game that I have coached during 45 years of marriage. We have two adult children, Jay, and my daughter, Jill, that's here today, who were primarily raised by Joanne, as I was often raising other people's children in games called football, basketball, and baseball. And yes, I was a basketball coach for a very short time. <laughs> she has been a positive connection for not only our players, but also for our coaches' wives who would attend all of the games together. Today, I stand on the shoulders of giants. Theron Fager and Walt Kennedy from Central Junior High School. Others that influenced me include Claude Marsh, Walt Hinman, Ori Lemansky, Joe Etienne, Jim Snyder, Ken Gray, Jim Brusso, and Mike Walderzak. In the fall of 1972, I became a student teacher and football assistant at Bridgeport. For the next four years, I taught math and science while coaching JV baseball and assistant football coach. In the summer of 1976, the football position at Chesney High School opened up. Jim Brusso, our athletic director, called Chesney on my behalf. I never heard from Chesney, so I assumed the position had been filled. A bend in the road occurs in my life. Dave Hammer and I go to Pontiac for a CMU class. On the way home, Dave takes a detour on I-75, off of 75 toward Chesney. He was tired of me talking about this Chesney position. So we end up at the superintendent's office of Bob Rohde, Captain Bob of the showboat. Mr. Rohde calls the principal, John Malcolm, asking when this fellow from Bridgeport is going to be interviewed for the football position. Bob suggested that they interview me today. At the conclusion of the interview, I was led to believe that they would call on Monday to let me know one way or the other. Now, there were four other people that interviewed for that job. What were my chances? 
On Thursday, I called personnel director to ask if they had made a decision. Yes, we have. For the next nine years, Chesney was our home. Don Flory, our athletic director, had a huge impact on me. He and I had many interesting discussions about teaching and coaching during those nine years. In 1985, we came home to Saginaw. In the next 12 years, our children, Jay and Jill, grew up and graduated from Arthur Hill. We had good athletes, and we had great support from our teaching and administrative staffs, as well as our football parents. My dad held court every afternoon at the practice field with some of his buddies. It was the best of times. Our assistant coaches were Bob Anerjeski, Joe Bogar, Jim Jones, TJ Luxton, Pat Marcolis, Dave Opaluski, and Jim Zappin. These are some of the finest men I have had the privilege of working with. The sadness, <clears throat> we lost TJ and we lost Pat within the last few years, long before their time should have been. In 1998, I was hired at Bay City Western. Boy, my dad, he comes over to the house. These were his exact words. When he sat down, he looked at me, and he said, are you nuts? <laughs> well, several minutes passed, and I finally was able to calm down, because my dad was my greatest supporter. And I said, no, I am not nuts. I will become the athletic director and the varsity football coach at Western High School. In addition, Joanne will have an opportunity to become a full-time teacher in the Bay City Public Schools. Well, Dad thought about that for a long time. It had taken a couple weeks. But when I ended up going to Auburn, Dad soon found his way where he would watch practices and attend all of our games. Our coaching staff built a solid program with a lot of sweat, tears, and commitment. I want to thank all of those coaches that attended this today from the bottom of my heart. <clears throat> Twelve years passed at Western, and I knew it was time for me to retire. I thank the voting members for including me into this Hall of Fame. I am humbled. Lastly, to the 1991 football team, thank you for giving all of us one moment in time. Thank you.